New information on this crash. A van plowed into a law office at Jacksonville Beach. We were working. All we know is we heard a boom. We looked up. He had uh, hit the wall, and when he hit the wall, he started shaking. As he started shaking, we went over there, bust the window with the uh, pry bar and got him out. In the past couple of hours, we learned police revealed the driver of the out-of-control vehicle had a medical issue. We're told that medical issue caused the driver to swerve off the road and slam into the corner of the office building. It happened at the law offices of John Phillips at around 1 o'clock this afternoon at the intersection of 3rd Street and 9th Avenue North. This is in Jacksonville Beach. News 4 Jacks reporter Elizabeth Campbell just spoke to Phillips, who's the owner of the building. She's joining us live from outside the office. Elizabeth. Well, things actually incredibly look much better now than they did earlier. You can see the plywood has been put up and that now covers what was open for the majority of the day. But you still can see the shattered glass all over the grounds. A man works just inside on the other side of this plywood uh, and happened just to leave for lunch uh, not long before this happened. I want to show you down this way. You can see the pipes on the ground, construction cones, and this hole over here. Construction workers were actually in this exact hole just minutes before this all happened are feeling very fortunate today that they happened to be out of the way when this van crashed into this building. Now, I want to show you some of the video that gives you a better idea of just how bad it was. That van crashing through the building, the driver was taken to the hospital. Once the van was removed, you could see just how close one attorney's desk and chair were to the area where the van went through. Now, today we talked to him as well as a construction worker, as well as John Phillips within the last hour, and he had the chance to see the damage for the first time today. Well, y'all got to have your proper PPE on. You got to be safe and you got to be careful out here. You got to. It's a dangerous job. It's a dangerous job, but it comes with it. You know, it was scary. Things happen for a reason. Well, man, I got a lot of clients here in this area, and I got texted by about three or four clients checking to see if I was okay. My wife saw the picture. Um, everybody was kind of panicking because everybody who knows me knows where my office is. So we were here um, about two hours before. It, uh, like I was sitting right there about two hours before the crash. So this is literally the first time I've seen it. It's, it's uh, like there was serious intrusion. It came all the way in. It's, it's shocking. I'm just glad no one was hurt. This is another area of construction where workers also were today. Again, just feet from the building. Now, next is the cleanup and insurance process. Contractors were out here earlier cleaning some of the mess up, putting the plywood up. John Phillips says, as for the attorney whose office is right behind that plywood, he will be moved to another office within this location or to his law firm in the Ortega area. And again, he says he is just so happy that everyone was okay, and he also hopes that that driver is okay. Reporting live from Jacksonville Beach, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Elizabeth. Now, we're also learning more about a similar incident that happened in Lake City yesterday afternoon. Take a look. Several people were inside this Little Caesars pizza shop when, look at that, an SUV just came plowing right in. Troopers say Vicki Doyle was trying to turn into a parking spot when she drove over a curb and right into the restaurant on Southwest State Road 47. Just a mess there. Wow. The impact knocked one woman off her feet, and she was struck by flying debris from the crash. Thankfully, no one else was hurt.